Welcome to Getting Real with Andrew Cohen. We have a great show for you today. Today is Wednesday. That means it is our day for Jeremy Ray Taylor. Jeremy Ray Taylor. This is this was a breakthrough interview, I think, for the podcast and just for me in general. Even even with you know, I had done we had done Robert Caper and Michael Campion. It doesn't matter. This was this was a great interview because it is relevant today. The movie is out today. Obviously, well, it's been out for a while, but it is relevant. This guy is relevant today. It isn't. I don't want to like downgrade my interviewees, but you know, this is like something that's relevantly happening. It wasn't like I'll give you an example. Hadley, you know, she was on Louis. Uh, I don't know. Uh, you know, that was like three years ago, but this is happening right now today, and that is what's exciting. And it was a great conversation with Jeremy. Um, it was great. If you don't know. He is from the – he's from – Jeremy Ray Taylor plays Ben Hanscom in the new movie It. It is out now in theaters, and uh, it was a great interview. But uh, there was a little issue that uh, I want to bring up, which is uh, just it's a little problem I want to work through, is um, I wasn't able to see the movie, which was, I think, a problem. I wasn't able to see mo- the movie because – well, there was a couple reasons – up to that day, that the day I got, you know, it was the, I only learned about the interview the day before we did it, and it was uh, it was Rosh Hashanah that day, and you know I couldn't, you know, my parents are Jewish, and they couldn't take me if I wanted to, and then up to that point, which is the problem, I haven't seen horror movies. I'm talking, you know, movies like The Exorcist. The Conjuring, you know, like really big horror films like that, like true horror films. And I think it was because when I was eight, I was, tra- I was traumatized by seeing I saw a horror movie when I was eight. You know, <laughs> I learned later that it wasn't even a horror movie. It was it was a movie called The Invisible. It was like a thriller, but it was like a dark thriller. And I guess it traumatized me. And, and I couldn't, you know, and it's just I haven't seen horror movies. And then it came out, I got this interview and I've been like debating once I, well, not even once I started reaching out, I was like, okay, I should really see, see this movie. And everybody was telling me, you know, yeah, Andrew, you can't go in, you know, you can't go in not seeing the movie. It's just, it would be impossible. I was like, well, then I'll lie. I'll read a bunch of plot synopsis and I'll lie that I've seen the movie. And then I thought about the ethics of that. And then you know, you gotta find a line. Like I'm a, I'm a pretty unethical person, most of the time. But I just, you know, I don't want to do that to my interviewees. I want to, you know, be genuine. And if I have not seen the movie, I have not seen the movie. And I told him in the interview, you'll see, and it went well. It went very well, and I like, I like the direction it went. I like the interview, and um, yeah, it was just, it was just phenomenal to talk to him. And I'm gonna definitely put that on my list. Great, really great ex- of list of great, really great experiences. This is a great experience. Um, remember it. Um, Jer- Jeremy stars as Ben Hanscom in it, which is out in theaters now. And this is my interview with Jeremy Ray Taylor. Enjoy, everybody. Ace Podcast. Welcome to the show, Jeremy. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm I'm good. Uh, what are you? Uh, sorry, I had to. I like to po- postpone the um, the interview for like thirty minutes. It's because do you ever like wake up like later than you're supposed to? You know what I mean by that? No, I've never done that before. What? No. What? What? What is he talking about? What? <laughs> Uh, yeah, but um, yeah, let's get into it. Uh, I, I, by it, I mean, I mean you. I don't mean the movie. We'll, we'll talk about the movie. I <laughs> does that ever get yeah, confusing? Yeah. 
Does that, does that ever just say, hey, uh, how, how, hey, how was it? Does, does that ever yes. like happen? Because I'm like, oh yeah, it was good. It's like, what, what was good? I'm like, yeah, the the, the movie. And they're like, yeah, what, what, what yeah. movie? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can understand. So yeah, um, where are you from? What's what's your uh, upbringing? I am from Tennessee, a very small town in Tennessee. So very small town. Live on Is a farm. Like, yeah. Live on a farm. That's that's cool. Is it like one of those yeah. towns where like everybody knows each other? Yes, that's exactly what it is, actually. Yeah, my mom's from one of those towns. I know. Is it like? Let me guess. It sounds like a mile mile long. And it's and there's like a few stores. There's like a like a pizza hut somewhere out, kind of in the middle of nowhere. It's close to that, but I it's it's more than a mile long. <laughs> Okay, so it's not as small as where my mom is from. That, no. that that's yeah, that's small. Um, but yeah, so like, what on your farm? Like, what do you what do you what do you like grow on your farm? Is there like a you guys have like a specific thing that you grow or? Uh, we do lots of things. We we have crops and we have a bunch of goats, which is more of a hobby. We don't really make a business off of that. Then we have chickens, mm -hmm. which we sell eggs, and we have cows. So. Mm -hmm. this yeah, is, it's a decent sized farm. Yeah, so is that this is how your family makes a living through the farm? Uh yeah, and my dad's also a uh, he works on construction, so. He works on construction. Has he uh constructed like anything big that like, you know? Or just, uh, just like, the normal houses. Oh, just the normal houses. Okay. Yeah. yeah, um you know. But yeah, that that's that's cool. Um construction uh yeah i was gonna ask you about your uh your parents so how'd you get into i mean you're on a farm you're living in like tennessee how'd you get into acting i mean well i was on a business trip and it wasn't even actually for acting at all i was mm -hmm. with my mom and we were going to nashville and yeah. she was doing something for business and somebody that was with her said mm -hmm. i like your personality here's an agency and we're like oh this is not going to work at all and then <laughs> We we ended up acting, and five years later, I got it. Mhm. Mm you uh, so somebody. Just, it's it's kind of like one of those stories. I think that happened to like uh, who was it? I think that happened to like Jennifer Lawrence or something. Like somebody just looked 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 at her face and like, I like you. you come, <laughs> yep. Come basically. with me. Basically, I mean that's and that's a cool story. I mean that doesn't happen to everyone. Was it no, like? No, it does not. Were you making like a like a special face that was like you know? I like, well, I'm not, like I like that. <laughs> I'm not as outgoing as I was uh, five years ago, but I was very, very outgoing whenever that was happening. So mm -hmm. I was dancing all over the place, and I just had a, a funny personality. So she was just as, yeah. Has acting sort of made you a little bit more quieter and been like, okay, let's let's save this. Let's not spread uh, all Jeremy around. No, I'm hitting more of the you know teenage years. So oh, okay. I'm hitting the, oh, yeah, I'm cool and stuff. But I'm <laughs> still very outgoing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, it's the, those years where you're like, Mom, stop talking to me. I know those years. <laughs> yeah, Mom, get out of my room. It's not yeah, a phase. I, <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's, just, it's not a phase. It's just who I am. Uh, <laughs> I know exactly what that's like. Um, I'm still going through that. Uh, <laughs> but... Um, yeah, so that's um yeah, that that's a that's a big part of of the life, you know. Did um yeah, yeah so then so I, I do have a I do have a question. Um there was a mix up on IMDB. I, I don't know if you know this site, uh but oh, yeah. it's, it's called IMDB. <laughs> um <laughs> yeah. but there's a mix up. It says you're in it says you're in this movie Geostorm and then I your people said you're not in Geostorm. What what was that? There was some like prank or what was that? Well, I went to New Orleans to shoot that for about two weeks, and yeah. then I only heard that there was some reshooting with a lot of the scenes that I was in. So I'm guessing yeah. I'm not going to be in the movie. Oh, um, so, you're you know, cut out. Stuff hit the cutting floor. Yeah. I'm sorry about that. Is that like did when you were first starting to act? Did that ever happen? Oh was yeah. Cut out. Um, I've been an Ant Man, which I got cut from. Mm -hmm. uh, Paul Rudd, very nice guy. Paul Rudd, yeah. Uh, Forty Two, the Jackie Robinson story. I don't know if you've heard of that. 
Yeah. Uh, with I Harrison saw it. Ford, and I got cut from mm-hmm. that. Um, Medea's Christmas. I was supposed to be in that. Yeah. Wasn't in that. <laughs> so yeah, I've, I've hit the cutting floor a lot. This but is trying to turn a little part sad. Of his career. Yeah. Yeah. Is it like I guess like is it? I bet you'd probably get used to that over time, right? You just you're like after the first oh, time yeah. that you you go home, you you cry a little bit. Then like the third time, you're like, uh, expected. That's something. Well, like yeah, because like that's part of having a career. So you have to get used to not everything is going to go your way, really. So you know, I I'm definitely mm-hmm. used to <laughs> hitting the cutting floor now. Yeah, I mean you're in the. But they were you're, definitely you're, great experiences. Yeah, I mean, I guess that that teaches you a lot about you know failure and having to deal with failure and not having to succeed in everything, right? Yes, of course. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it you were definitely in it. It it the movie. Now, I'm not, I'm mentioning the movie. It. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of half kidding about that, but you, you know what I mean. Um, yeah. You're definitely in the movie, right? I mean, I think so. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I've you're, seen you're, it twice, so I think that I'm in the it. movie. Yeah, I, I do have to tell you something, though. I have to admit it. Um, so, your people came to me yesterday saying, you know, yeah, sure. And yesterday was Rosh Hashanah for my family's Jewish. Mm-hmm. So, I was not able to see the movie. But I have, friends, I have a friend who did see the movie. He helped me prepare some questions and I did a lot of, I watched a lot of the trailers, and I watched a lot of, w- read a lot of plot summaries. So okay. that's, that's, that, I, I'm sorry about that. That's, that's my No, bad. that's totally cool. But you should definitely yeah. see it after this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the reason why I didn't see it up to now was because it's just, I don't, like, usually see horror movies. And I was like... Yeah, I get that. Yeah, it's like, you may be interviewing these people, you may see it, but I was like, well, what if I lie? And then my parents were like, don't lie. And I was like, okay. <laughs> um, so, so yeah. So, I mean, let's let's start at the beginning. What was the auditioning process like for it? Like, how what had you done before, and like what led you to it? It was really simple, actually. Um, you know, you you hear all the other stories of the Losers Club, and they're like, oh, I auditioned for Richie, and then I auditioned for Beverly, and then I auditioned for for Mike. But mine, I just had one tape, and they booked me straight from that. Um. It was, it was awesome, but I was up for two other things, so they kind of had to grab me quick. Mm-hmm. So they they capitalized on that and did me from the first take. So that was amazing. What were the what were the two other things? Um, Transformers: The Dark Knight and Logan, I think. Oh, that so was they were, like they were two very small roles. Yeah, so it was either oh, two they were really small, small roles, roles okay. or one lead role. Yeah, I mean that. I mean, I think it's worth it. I mean, I, actually, I've been reading the book, and um, so I guess let, let me start. Some of some of I, I guess I'll start with I guess my what I what I figured out from reading is how was working with like Bill Skarsgård. It was awesome, but it was at at the same time it was a roller coaster of emotion because five yeah. scenes before he's killing uh-huh. you, or five minutes before he's killing you. You're talking about like how life is and having normal conversations, and then he's choking you to death, and <laughs> yeah, bad thing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I know because I I know I heard something that he he was separated from you guys, so then yeah. your fear was supposedly like very genuine. Like, how was you know was was the fear like really genuine or? I mean, yeah, it was pretty terrifying because the makeup and everything and. But I was also really excited at the same time because I knew mm-hmm. that once I saw him that he was going to scare a lot of people. And mm-hmm. I was really proud of like the, the makeup group and, and the prosthetics group. and It was awesome. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, but it definitely was terrifying. Yeah, it was. I, I bet. I mean, also I know in the movie, I can even tell from the trailers, I guess Ben is a big on history, right? He is very big on history, yes. Um, And you, you do a... One of the trailers, you do a big narration of, like, everybody in Derry disappears every 27 years, you know. So, yeah. I mean, like Ben, are you really big into history? Um, I'm more into science than history. But more in the science? Fun. Yeah, I'm more mm-hmm. in science. 
I just did that, the, that interests me a lot. Yeah. Did did the role like bring out something you never saw in yourself? Like it was like I love history now. It wasn't like um, that. Or... Definitely wasn't like that. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not. I'm not too much of a history buff. Not but too much I mean, of history, buff. history is kind of fun. But I I prefer science. Mhm. Like what? I mean, I guess uh, another question. I'm uh, speaking of like subjects in school. Like has I guess, how was, like, the, did you do, like, on-set tutoring and stuff like that? That Was that going um, on? Yes, but luckily most of the movie was filmed in summer. So oh. I only had to do school, like, the last two weeks of shooting, mm-hmm. which was actually okay. at the point where I'm like, wow, I'm actually going to be in this movie. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm missing school for this. It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> That's the teenagerhood. It's this like whenever you get to miss school for something, it's like the best. I have an excuse oh, yeah. to miss. I I'm missing school because I'm shooting a movie. I mean, I guess when you got back to school and you were talking about how was your summer vacation, that was. I I bet you like hit the ballpark of like interesting. Yeah, I mean I'm homeschooled. Oh, you're but, homeschooled. Yeah, so oh, it's kind okay. of like this thing where I go every week, once every week, and they give you homework that you do over the week at home. And then you turn it in the okay. next week. So it's like one public school day. Oh, but okay. But most of them are my immediate friends. So it wasn't it wasn't too much of a topic at school. Okay, so it wasn't like I I spent time with my mom. I went to I went to <laughs> California. I filmed the movie It. <laughs> um, yeah, exactly. Everybody's trying to top that. Uh, well, I um I went to Europe. Um. Everybody's trying to like top that, and that I, I guess that could be kind of funny. Um, now another another thing that I guess my friend uh, was talking to me about: um, new kids on the block. I'm gonna have to explain yes. this one to me. What is um what is this about? What is this? I guess is your character like I guess this band, New Kids on the Block, or what's the context? Um, my character loves New Kids on the Block. Mm-hmm. Um, and he he gets really embarrassed because. The girl he loves, Beverly, actually um, gets gets to steal my headphones and listen to what I was just listening to, mm-hmm. and it was New Kids on the Block, which is not a good thing in the eighties. <laughs> that was not. It was not. It was not. It was not the cool thing. No, it was definitely not a cool thing in the eighties to. I was be, of, yeah. It was, but but not for not for thirteen year old boys. <laughs> what what was in the eighties? What was that? I guess. What, who were they for? Uh, you... All the girls. Stephanie oh, that was. A, oh, that was. A, I guess it, is that what your character? Why um, your characters? Your character was part of the the loser club, losers club, quote unquote. Is that, a little bit. It's mainly that was the initiation. Bullies, but that that was okay. a, that was a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> no, that that was the. Yeah, I mean, I guess. I guess I mean I think the cool thing about the movie and I've been reading the book is that um you guys like take pride your characters like take pride in that name. Yes, we do. Which is, and I feel like after this movie comes out a lot of people are going to be like I'm a loser and people are going to take pride in in calling themselves losers. <laughs> but it's kind of funny cuz when we're doing press and stuff they're mm-hmm. like hey losers come on and we respond to that. It's it's hilarious. Mhm. Is that, I mean, I guess that's kind of, you know, I guess that's, you now that thinking about that, you know, thinking about, like, being called a loser, and and I guess after the movie, now it's not so bad, but before that, that was, like, a really negative context, oh, which yeah. is kind of interesting. Yeah, that's really weird, but uh-huh. all losers are winners in a sort, am I right? <laughs> mm-hmm. Did you ever sort of feel like a stigma against that name? Um, when you were filming, a little bit. I think think I take pride in in being called a loser now. Mm-hmm. I mean, because I, I guess at the beginning, because you're not kind of used to it, you're like, "Oh uh, yeah, you're a loser," and then you're like, "What? No, I'm not a loser. <laughs> That's me. Yeah, it's Stop funny, bullying my friends me." Are like, yeah. yeah, my friends are like, "You're a loser," and I'm like, "Oh, thanks." And they're like, "No, because you're in the movie. Eh? <laughs> Get it?" And you're like, "Oh like, yeah." yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Mhm. I mean, 
How was, uh, I guess, what was your, I mean, what was your, like, favorite scene in the movie? Favorite scene? As in, like, favorite yeah. scene to film? Well, well, let's do two questions. What was your favorite scene to film, and then what was your favorite scene out of the entire movie? Oh, gosh. Favorite scene to film was probably with the bullies. With because the bullies. That, sounds, that sounds really, really stupid because mm-hmm. I'm getting bullied. But they were so nice. So it was also a roller coaster <laughs> of emotions with them, like it was Bill Skarsgård. Mm-hmm. Um, but they're just so nice. So uh-huh. it was intense, and then and then it was really nice for five seconds, and then you're killing each other for five seconds, and it's just mm-hmm. really funny. I mean, um, that's, yeah, sorry, Beth. Continue. And then my favorite scene in the movie in the entirety. That's a really hard question. Um. Beverly's bathroom blood scene. I guess you haven't seen the movie, but yeah, that's in the trailer. So if you've seen, if you've seen all the trailers. Oh, I think I've that. seen. Yeah, I think I, I know. What you mean. Is it like she's in the bathroom and then things are like coming out of the toilet and like rushing her? Yes, that was an mm-hmm. awesome scene. Mm-hmm. Why do you think that was like the best scene? Just wondering. Well, she's such a great actress, so it was. It was just perfect in general, and it was really fun to watch while it was being filmed at the same time. So it's like bringing back good memories because <laughs> it took a lot of a lot of time to to reset it and do it over and over. So she did it only like five times. So it was mm-hmm. just an awesome scene in in the entirety. Mm-hmm. Do you? Uh, what are your? I guess. I mean, uh, let me go back to the bullying. Um, had you ever sort of? Was there any like experience you were able to bring to that scene? I mean, I I mean, it's a little. I'm getting a um, little up close there, but I, you know. No, that's alright. Um, luckily, I've never been bullied, but I would I would never wish that upon anyone. Um, mm-hmm. But I am the youngest of six, and the that's all I need six. to say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that 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 provides a lot of context for. You yes. Know, Mm-hmm. What are your uh, how how old are you are the uh, other five? Oh gosh, um, one of them is twenty five, twenty four, mm-hmm. twenty three, um, twenty one, seventeen, and then me, which is fourteen. Okay, um, it was. Are you guys? Are you are you like the most interesting one out of all of them? Um, we're all different in our own ways. But uh. <laughs> but I'm 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 very outgoing compared to all of them. <laughs> so mm-hmm. you know I never get embarrassed at, at grocery stores and stuff. I'll dance and stuff. Okay, you'll you'll <laughs> you'll dance in the middle of grocery stores. What? Of course, What's man. This? I mean I never get emba- I you can't really embarrass me in public. You could do anything <laughs> and I wouldn't get embarrassed. If, like somebody pants you in public, you wouldn't you wouldn't just like you, st- you know, still still no embarrassment. Funny story, because that actually happened to me. Jack, oh, wow. who plays Eddie in the movie. Yeah. 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 Uh, he did that, so that was He fun. did that. <laughs> what was the context for that? Like, what? Ha- where were you? What happened in that? Uh, we were on the pier in Toronto, and he just did it. <laughs> really? Yeah. It was just, it was just like, and, I mean, was there, like, people around, or was it just, or was that, like... It was kind of at the night. So it it wasn't too bad, but it was it was really funny. That's okay. Jack for you, by the way. <laughs> That's the sound sounds very interesting. Actually, um, you know, I'm actually maybe interviewing one of your other co-stars. Uh, uh, crap! What? I, the guy who plays Richie, uh, Finn Wolfhard. Finn Wolfhard. Yeah. Yeah, I might be interviewing Finn depending on how this goes. Uh, okay. This conversation right now, depending on how this goes, they're gonna like how I how I how I um, how I am with fourteen-year-olds. Uh, That's what this is a test. Um, <laughs> okay. No, but um, is there anything like did he? Um, I guess is there anything that uh, he did that was like kind of? I mean, I know because I know he was kind of like I guess in the movie the funny one. Um, was there any? Uh, is there, was there any? Um, no, here's what I'm asking. Uh, was there anything on set that was like, sort of, um, really embarrassing, like joking around? 
Um, I wouldn't say embarrassing, but Jack and Finn both are very sporadic, and they're like a loose cannon or a live wire. So mm-hmm. anything can happen when you're around those two. So okay. nothing, nothing totally embarrassing, but things. Is there can. any other? <laughs> Is there any other Jack or Finn? Because you're saying like things can happen. Like there's been multiple times. Is there any other t- things that have happened? No, I just mean like you know, you never know what's gonna come out of Jack, and you never know what he's gonna do, and you just mm-hmm. never know, man. He's just a, a live wire. Yeah. Is there any um? I guess since I know you're a kid, you guys like was there any improvising in the movie? Yes, a lot of that. Um. Finn is, or Richie in the movie, is a very funny yeah. one, the trash mouth. But Jack yeah. came up with actually a lot of those jokes that Richie said. Because, you know, Jack is, Jack is the crazy one. Uh-huh. So a lot of it was improv. Um, there's a scene where you're like, him and my second fanny pack, which was improvised. Like, they improvised that whole entire scene. It was, it was really funny. Mm-hmm. Was it... Um, uh, let me ask you, did you have any, speaking of, like, improv, I mean... That sort of comes from a little training, right? I mean, you, I mean, I, because I feel like, because I've, I've worked with sort of improvisers, and it's kind of hard to just start doing it, and it's very hard to like think of the top of your head. Had you or them like had any prior training to like either to for improvising, or was that just like you guys just thought of in your head, like it was like funny? Well, I think we've all had a few classes uh, here and there, but um, yeah. Most of it was was just like, oh, let's throw this in the scene. Because Andy, the director, was very open with us and Mm kind of let us push the boundaries of the script and just kind of develop our own type of thing. So Mm -hmm. it was all it was all (laughs) up to Andy. But yeah, it was mainly just like, oh, let's throw that in the scene. Mm Mhm. Was uh, had you received any like when you when you started when when you were kind of discovered. You literally were like, because like some people like that's like a that's kind of like a cliche. Like I was discovered, you know. But you were literally <laughs> discovered. Um, what did you add? Did you did you like start like training to be an actor after that? Like, did you go any, to any training or you just started doing it? Um, well, I kind of just started doing it at first, and then realized I was really really bad. So <laughs> I <laughs> I took some classes and and kept working on it. So. Mhm. It's think, an easy. To, yeah. Sorry. But now it's 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 good. Mhm. Did you? Uh, is it hard to act when you're in like uh, when you're in you know Tennessee or when you're kind of in the middle of nowhere? Is it kind of hard to like find opportunities to act? Uh, I think you get a little bit less, but I think it's it's sometimes easier because you get to tape auditions instead of do them live. So, you know, you okay. can kind of keep doing it over and over, you know, cheat a little bit. <laughs> um, yeah. I, well, not, I, I didn't mean cheat, but like, yeah, you know. Yeah, you don't want to, you don't want to cheat. Uh, yeah, I just had so a conversation it's, with it's my a little parents. Bit about it. Yeah. I mean, do, is that, do you got, do you have, I mean, you probably taped a lot of auditions. So do you have sort of a ritual? Do you have like a special bedroom that you use or a special thing that you do? <laughs> it's kind of funny because, uh, we bought this this light kit and we put it in our kind of a little guest bedroom in the basement. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> it's like squeezed in there, mm-hmm. right beside the bed. So we like, <laughs> barely have enough room. We have a blue cloth hanging behind me. It's, it's yeah. kind of funny, but yeah. So we have like a little room that's dedicated to audition. Yeah, it's it's a casual setup. Yeah. <laughs> um. What would be um I guess what would be now that you're off of it um what would be like what is what's like the next role you would want to do? Um, mainly anything that comes my way. But if I had to pick like a role that I would love to do, it'd be mm-hmm. like a warlock or something. A warlock. Like, I don't know why. You don't know why. But I think it'd be really cool, and I'd love to work with Jack Black. Jack Black, that's your like dream, like acting with. Oh yeah. Jack Black and Kevin James. I'd love to work with them. I mean, that that sounds like a comedy. You could like. It is definitely a comedy. <laughs> like you could probably like play one of their sons. Would that be? Yeah, exactly. Mhm. But I guess I guess that'd be kind of weird. 
you, Jack Black, and who was the last one? Sorry. Uh, Kevin James. You, Jack Black, and Kevin James are all warlocks. Uh, yeah, it'd be perfect. That, that's a per. I don't know how that how that movie would work. What would the what would the plot structure be of that? Uh, it's like you guys are trying to save a princess. You I don't know. Like the, trying to find a coin that's lost three thousand years ago, and I don't know. I haven't gone this far in the thought with it. <laughs> yeah, <maybe. laughs> oh, you, you only started. 30 seconds ago trying to think about the plot for this movie. <laughs> <laughs> we we definitely need to make this happen. Yeah, you, you got to make it happen. I'm that I'd see that. I'm telling you, I'd see that. You you <laughs> Kevin James and Jack Black playing warlocks trying to save a princess who you you all out of this you all like the princess. And it's kind of weird because it's it's like it's one of those like, you know, student teacher kind of crushes. Yeah. And then it's like you've you you'll think about it. We'll we'll think about it. We'll Yeah, we'll 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 get there. Red, we'll be there. <laughs> um but uh how would um would you ever work with uh like I guess if, if there's anybody in the movie who would you would like work with again? Is there anyone like particular that you would especially work want to work with again? Uh can I pick all of them? <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah, I think I'd just pick all of them. There's not one that I would specifically love. I just love all of them because we're such good friends in real life and it really shows on screen. So I, I'd love to work with all mm-hmm. of them again, if that's possible. Mm-hmm. Is that, uh, I guess I have a question, I guess, speaking of friends, um, is it hard? I know since you're homeschooled, is that kind of hard socially? I mean, cause I was looking at homeschool, like I guess a year ago. And one of the things, one of the concerns was about like, you know, well, you, you won't have access to like friends and stuff. Like, is that hard for you or how is that? No, that's not very hard because, you know, like I said, it's kind of like one public school day at, mm-hmm. at the same time. So it's not very hard to make make friends. Mm-hmm. I guess it could be hard in, in different circumstances of homeschooling, but not with me right now. Mm-hmm. You're able to – because I, I guess – when did you start homeschooling? Um, I've been homeschooled my whole life. Oh, your whole life. So, that was just like a... – Yeah, it just kind of worked out. Okay, so did you just, so you always kind of just were like one school day a year that was like your day to just like hang out with everybody, make the most of it? Yeah. Well, no, it's mm-hmm. like one every week. Oh, one every week. I thought it was like yeah, once not, every not school year. Every year. No, okay, no. that'd be like, that'd be, that'd be like, that's like, that'd be like the one day and everybody has posters and everything. Jeremy's coming. Jeremy's <laughs> coming. Get ready. No, it's it's one day a week. Mm-hmm. What's your uh? Let's 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 get into the more personal questions now. What's your uh favorite movie? My favorite movie? I'm very erratic with my interview process. I, I'll go I'll go from like completely different topic to completely no, different topic. Right. You know, that's just like that's me. just what I do. <laughs> <laughs> erratic. <laughs> Dancing in public. But da 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 yeah. Um, I don't know. I like comedies in general. I guess I can, it's so hard to pick a a real comedies like favorite mm-hmm. movie. Mm-hmm. There's so many. I don't know. I'd probably just say comedies in general because I can't pick one. That's hard. Mm-hmm. Well, what's your favorite <laughs> comedy? I kind of I kind of lowered the lowered the lowered the sample size for you. I don't know if okay, that helps. that helps a little bit. Yeah. Um, hmm. Um, well, I get made fun of for liking the movie Jack and Jill a lot. Oh. That, that was an inside joke. Okay. Yeah, that... Oh, really? I can hear it Is in that... the voice. You, you definitely don't like Jack and Jill. Oh, uh, <laughs> no. I actually... I Well, I've seen a bit of it, and I respect the movie. Let's just... Okay. Keep That's it a good at that. I mean, you don't like yeah. That's good. <laughs> okay. I mean, I haven't... Granted, I haven't seen the movie in a while, but yeah, I haven't either. I just said that I liked it one time, and yeah, now that's, it's, I mean, it's, it's an inside joke. I mean, everybody has their guilty pleasures, you know. Yeah. People, I, I mean, you know, I'll take an example. Some people like uh, Keeping Up with the Kardashians. People are like, that's a guilty okay. pleasure for me. That's like a, that's my guilty pleasure. 
And then, I don't think that should be a guilty pleasure, though. I think you should just be guilty. And that's my opinion. I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen an episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Yeah, me neither, but that's what people say apparently is a is their guilty pleasure. And I'm like, I don't hmm. think that's a, I don't think, how do you find pleasure in that? Of seeing other people doing better than you. I don't know, maybe they should be it, crying. It expands your, your dreams and stuff. Maybe it's like, oh, maybe I can do that one day. I can yeah, get rid I mean, of stuff. <laughs> I mean, I imagine that, you know, the per- I, mean, I imagine you'd be like crying while watching that show. I'm not as good as them. <laughs> I just want to be them and I can't. <laughs> maybe. You know, that's, I mean, I, I mean, I feel like that's, that show is sad. But, uh, I mean, do you have any, do you have any, like, guilty pleasures that are besides Jack and Jill? Um, let's get personal real quick. I don't, I don't think I've, like, ever told anybody this. Um, yeah. I'd say one of my guilty pleasures is Gilmore Girls. Gilmore Girls. You know that, what that is, is a, I know, I do know what Gilmore Girls is. My sister liked that movie show. Um, <laughs> yeah. I make, I, did I make you feel bad when I said my sister? I, I didn't. No, that, that's all right. Okay. I, I get that a lot. <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> I understand. I mean, I've wanted to see that show, too. I, I, I have to admit that, too. I've, it's, been, it's been an interest in mine to just see that yeah, show, just I mean, to see what all the hype is about. It's not bad. It's not bad. From a, from a, from a personal view, it's, it's not a bad show. Not a bad show. Yeah. People just like to tell me things. It just comes out. People say, <laughs> I've never told anybody this, but, you know, that, that just happens. Um, <laughs> I make people feel safe. Uh, <laughs> no, but I'm it's a good quality to have. <laughs> yeah. Do you ever? Um, do you make people feel safe? No. Uh, <laughs> that's that's. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I understand that how that could be a guilty pleasure. I mean, it's it's not it's not the most popular of opinion that guys like that show. No. No, I guess you could say I'm a little bit like Ben Hanscom with New Kids on the Block. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was about to ask that. Like, did, did the movie sort of give you a new appreciation for New Kids on the Block? Um, I mean, I've listened to their music a little bit more. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's good. It's not, it's not bad. It, it's be like, you know, it's okay. It's okay. I'm not embarrassed anymore. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You were already embarrassed in the movie. I mean, that, that's kind of hard to now get more embarrassed in real life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you afraid, like, you're going to be listening and then somebody, like, sort of the exact same thing happens that happened in the movie, and they're going to be like, why are you listening to New Kids on the Block? And it's like, oh, Beverly all over again. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll be like, I'll be like. No, I was just listening to to it to, mm-hmm. to get prepared for the for for another for another it movie maybe. Mm-hmm. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> be like, yeah, yeah. Do you think they're gonna wait twenty seven years? Since one of you. Do you think they're gonna um, wait twenty seven years for you guys to just so it's like natural? I mean, that would be awesome. Yeah, that'd be cool. But I think I'd, people would hate us cool. a lot. I mean, yeah, that'd be kind of that'd be that'd be really because like there's probably people and they're like I don't know. 70s who saw it and be like, come on, we're going to be dead then. Don't do that to us. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that would be awesome, but who would that'd you, make a lot of people mad. <laughs> yeah, Who would you want to play, I mean, your character, I mean, as an, as an adult? Um, I'd love Chris Pratt to play me because I get, I get fit and, and buff. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe, maybe Chris Pratt. After Chris he's Pratt. done saving the galaxy, he can come help Derry a little bit. Yeah, that could be Guardians of the Galaxy at crossover. Yes. Be a crossover. That would be, that'd be something else. I would watch that. Uh, that would be that'd be pretty cool. They the Guardians of the Galaxy have to defeat Pennywise. That would be amazing. Mhm. I mean, the, I guess I mean in the in the movie the clown, I guess did that. I mean, what's your like? Is that like sort of your biggest fear now? Clowns or what is it? Um, biggest fear probably it's not clowns. Okay. But I'd say it's like claustrophobia. I'm very claustrophobic. Very claustrophobic. So that might be it. Yeah. Did you ever have to? Too. Oh, okay. I mean that those are normal fears. Did you ever have to experience any of that in the movie? 
Um, I got to experience heights once, but that wasn't bad. Because okay. there's a scene in the movie where we jump off a, a cliff into water. Yeah. So I had, I had to stand up on top of that cliff. I didn't jump. But, um, you didn't jump? I did not jump. My stunt double jumped. <laughs> my awesome okay. stunt double. And she was a girl, by the way. My, my stunt double was a girl. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, so That's yeah, I got, I got to experience heights. But. Mm-hmm. No uh, claustrophobia. I mean... I guess I guess some of the characters I saw in the trailer. I guess I mean some of the characters must have to uh, had to experience that probably, right? I mean, I saw there's a scene in the trailers where uh, I guess Pennywise is coming at um, some of the kids and they're all huddled together, right? So that must have been yeah, a little, a little bit of flashback there, I guess. Mhm. But I mean, yeah, uh, you know, I. What I've heard is that you do a, a pretty good job in the movie. Um, I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say amazing. I'm no. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> what I've heard is that you do. You're a great character in the movie. Well, I would hope so. You'd hope so, and um, I think I will see it. the The truth is that when I I was debating up till now, I was still debating if I'm gonna see it because I don't watch horror movies. I can understand that, but you should definitely go see it. I, 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 cause, yeah, if I do interview your, one of your co-stars, then I'm, I am definitely going to go see it, uh, okay. before then. We'll make a deal on that. We'll make a deal. I'll, 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 I'll recall you and I'll just, and I'll give you my full report of the movie. And okay, good. we're going to, we're going to, we're going to do a, we're going to do a Jeremy Ray Taylor returns just about, it's going to go on for two hours just talking about the movie. I'm totally down. And, uh, okay. Well, we'll talk about that. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> but um, <laughs> it's like, ugh, I have to just, it's like two hours later, ugh, my God, is this kid ever going to shut up? Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, this was, this was so much fun, Jeremy. I, I had a great time talking with you. No, thank you for having me. 